Welcome back to another Scratch video. So today I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy game called Fireworks on the Tower Bridge. So this game was basically for the start of 2021, but it's already February and it's a bit late for that right now. So this game was inspired by a really cool book, then there's a link in the description, you can check that out. Alright, so here are the sprites we're going to need. So we're going to need the fireworks, so you can just draw this and scratch, it's not that hard. So there's the explosion, which is basically a circle and you could just make it any colour you want for now. So I did it green, but we're going to change the colour for it anyway. And then you're going to need two backdrops. So the tower bridge is the one I'm using now. You don't have to use the tower bridge. And I made this backdrop using GIMP. So please click the link up here. If you haven't already watched that video, it will show you how to draw these cool sprites and backdrops. And then we're going to need a second backdrop. And that's just a blank screen. So when the firework explodes, Loads, it will show a white flash on the screen for a very short amount of time. So all you have to do is click paint and then it will show a new backdrop and then you can just name it flash. So before we get started, I'm just going to explain you the logic of this game. So if you click anywhere on the screen, a firework is going to appear and explode there. So this isn't actually really a game, this is just some cool artwork project, I guess. Alright, so let's get into the code. Alright, so if you find yours a bit too big, you can just resize it. So you have to drag out a forever loop, and then you have to drag out a wait until block. So this is basically just the same as repeat until, except it will wait until a condition is true, then it will do the code that's under it. So go to sensing and drag out mouse down. So mouse down basically means when you click the screen. So it's going to wait until you click the screen and then it's going to appear and explode. Alright so we drag out a go to x and y block and we go to sensing and do mouse x. So this is just the x position of the mouse. So say we click here the firework is going to start from there and it will start going up and then it will explode. Then we're going to go to looks and drag out show. And then we have to go to motion and make it glide one second. So basically this is just the same as making it go to the X and Y positions. Except it will just travel more smoother. So we're going to go to sensing and drag out mouse X, mouse Y. So it will also go to the... Y position of it and then we're gonna go to looks and then we're gonna make it hide because when it explodes we're gonna hide the firework and only show the explosion because that's what fireworks do all right so we're gonna go to events and drag out broadcast message one change message one to bang so we are going to define bang a bit later all right so now let's define bang so we have to drag out when I receive bang. So then you have to go to looks and drag out switch backdrop to flash. Then we're going to go to control and drag out wait one second. So we're going to change one second to 0 0.1 seconds. So it's just going to show this white flash on the screen for 0 0.1 seconds. Then it will switch back. So we drag out the same block except we change flash to tower bridge. So at the start you may want to switch the backdrop to tower bridge again. So let's run it and see what happens. So if I click here it will just go up by a little bit. And it will not explode because we haven't made the code for the explosion yet. Also we want it to glide from the bottom. So I actually just made a mistake earlier. All we got to do is change the Y to negative 180 so you'll see it will go up and then it will switch the backdrop to flash all right so we just have to click on the explosion sprite all right so we have to drag out a when green flag clip as usual and we're gonna make it hide because we only want it to show when it explodes so then i'm just gonna make mine a bit smaller well not a bit smaller i mean a lot smaller so then i'm gonna go to control and drag out repeat 10 and then change 10 to 100 and then we have to drag out create clone of because when it explodes, we're just going to make lots of clones of itself. So then there's like little tiny balls exploding. And then we're going to 
go to events and then you're going to drag out broadcast bang and then you have to make a new message and then it's going to be called ready so we're going to drag out when i receive bang so as you see i've defined broadcast bang in another sprite but it will also work if you define it in another sprite so we're going to create a new wearable called speed and i've already done that so drag out set speed to zero and go to operators and drag out pick random 0 0.1 to 2. So there's going to be different parts exploding in different directions. And also the directions will have different. So don't worry if you don't understand what I mean right now. I'm just going to show you when it's done. So drag out set color effect zero and then change color to ghost so this is going to re remove any saturation from the sprite and then we're also going to change color effect by 25 so we're going to go to motion and drag out go to random position except change random position to firework so when it explodes it's going to go to this firework and then explode so drag out point in direction 90 so then you have to go to operators and drag out another pick random block and change this to negative 180 to positive 180 so basically it's just gonna pick a random direction and then it's going to go forward and explode there so also at the start we made it hide we want to make it show all right so you can copy a sound from the internet i just recorded this one so i called this firework explosion effect so i'm going to show you how it sounds like so it's just that one bang it sounds like it doesn't have to be too long so mine's 0.75 seconds it can't be too long because when it explodes it's gonna do it very fast so you don't want the sound effect to delay and stay too long so then you have to go to control and drag out repeat 10 then just change 10 to 50 so we just go to motion and drag out move 10 steps then go to variables and drag up speed. So whatever random speed it's picked from 0 0.1 to 2, it will move forward. So just copy paste this again and then drag up set speed to 0. So then you have to go to operators and drag out the multiplication symbol so then you have to go to variables and drag up speed and then type in 0 0.9 so 0 0.9 is just nine tenths of the speed it has randomly picked and then we're gonna go to looks and drag out change color effect by 25 except you just change this to ghost and then you have to drag out the pick random block then change 10 to 3 and then once it's done we're just gonna go to looks and go to hide so once it's done it's just gonna hide so again scratch does everything in sequence so what this basically means is it's just going to do this block of code until it's done so it's just gonna do this 50 times and then it will hide so once it's done basically all right so let's run it and see what happens it exploded that's really cool but what we want to do is add a trail. Alright, so earlier I have said broadcast ready, but we haven't actually defined ready yet. So we've basically already kind of defined ready, except we just have to drag this out of it. And then we just have to go to control. And then we just have to go to events and drag up when I receive bang and change bang to ready. So this is basically just going to do the same thing. All right, so in order to leave a trail, we have to go to pen over here. And in order to get pen, so normally when you make a new project, the pen doesn't show up. And probably in most games, you don't really use the pen, but we're going to use the pen now. So what you have to do is click this add extension button over here and then you see you can do all kinds of things and you can connect other things to scratch which is very really cool but we don't want to connect something to scratch yet so we just have to click on the pen and i've already done that so i'm just going to go back and then you'll see we have these pen blocks over here so in old scratch there used to be pen over here by default but they've removed it so now you have to get it from the add extension block and you'll see over here you can get some certain pen blocks 
So we have to drag out set pen color to 50. Then we have to go to operators and drag out the pick random block and change that to 1 to 100. So it's just going to pick a random colored trail. So we drag the pen up block over here just above the go to firework block. So this basically just removes the pen on the screen and then you have to drag out pen down so this will put the pen on the screen again. So obviously when it follows the firework up we don't want to leave a pen trail then but once the firework is in the position it's supposed to be we're going to put it on the screen again and then it's going to explode and then leave a trail so we don't really need to define the movement of the trail it will just follow the explosion dots but at the end we just need to do erase so it will basically just erase all the pen that's been used and also at the start you need to drag out and erase all blocks so let's see what happens so you'll see it will pick a random explosion color these are all different colors and you can also click the screen unlimited times and the firework will appear except when it's not running so you'll see it's a different color this time so if you notice when this explodes the ball will just pick a random color but we want to make it glow different colors at the same time of the explosion so what we're going to do is go to events and drag out when i receive bang then go to control and drag out repeat 10 and then change 10 to 100 and then we're going to go to looks and drag out change color effect by 25 and then you can just change 25 to 2 so it's going to slowly glow and change colors so let's see what happens so you'll see in the same explosion it's glowing and it's changing colors all right so that is it for this scratch project so again it's from a book and the book is in the description it's really cool i highly recommend you check it out so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed and bye